Hey, I'm Chad, and I want to show you a feature of virtualkeypad.com. Let's get started. The users page allows you to manage all of the users on your system. You can create or edit user codes and credentials all in one place. Once you've connected to your system on virtualkeypad.com, you'll be presented with the system overview screen. Click on users in the menu on the left. Users on your system may have more than one way to interact with your system. They might have a user code that they type in at the keypad and a proximity card or token they use at an access control reader. Previously, if you wanted to have a user with a code and a proximity token, you would have had to have two different users on the system. But now with virtualkeypad.com, you can have one user that has both a user code and a proximity token. Let's say you've hired a new employee and you want to give them a user code and a proximity token. Click the plus button at the top to add a new user. First, we'll type in her name. The next thing we want to do is give her a profile. You can click the plus button and then we'll search for employees, hit enter, and now she has the employee's profile. Down below, you'll see we already auto-generated a code for her along with her name, the type is code, the next available number. The only thing we need to do now is give her a code. Let's say she also needs a proximity token. Click the plus button and you'll see a new code pop up below. We default to a code type with a new name auto-generated, but we want to select credential. If you want to change the name that was automatically generated, simply edit the field above We'll call it Julie Barnes card. We automatically got the next available number. The only thing we need to do now is to enter the internal number of the card. If we wanted to give Julie a virtual keypad login, we could do that below in this field. But we'll skip that for now. And as you can see, by default, we apply the same profiles to all of the user codes and tokens below. If for whatever reason you'd like the codes to have different profiles, you can uncheck this and manage those individually. But for now, we'll just leave it the same. We'll hit save. Now you can manage Julie's user code and tokens all in one place. You can do the same for users already added to your system. Let's close this form. And you can see we have two Brian Phillips here. I'm gonna click and drag the one Brian Phillips onto the other. And you can see now we have both of those Brian Phillips codes grouped underneath a new person named Brian Phillips. Let's change their type. This is Brian Phillips code. Call it Brian Phillips code. We'll say Brian Phillips card. Click save. And now we only see one Brian Phillips in our list on the left, and he has his code and his card all in one place. And that's how to manage users on virtualkeypad.com.